Health is immediately accessible in Flash Professional CS6 if you know where to look. In this lesson, we'll see how to access a number of useful help features. So here I have Flash Professional open, and whether you have an actual project open or not, you'll still have access to this help menu. From the help menu, we can access, and this is going to actually bring up a web page that looks like this. So you're going to need access to the internet for a lot of these help options. But this one here goes to help.adobe.com. Help is immediately accessible. We can go through and learn how to use Flash, what's new, objects around the workspace, managing documents, and so forth. So any of these articles are going to bring up these rather useful descriptions about the feature and how to use certain elements of these features. Going back over to Flash Professional, we can also access the Flash Support Center from here. So again, this is going to bring up a window in our browser, and this will take us to Flash Professional Help on Adobe.com. So you can see here a lot of different top issues, things to get you running with Flash Professional, a number of different topics and references, and then some additional resources. There's links to learning articles here, and things such as user groups, the Adobe Developer Connection, and also a number of questions posed by and answered by the community. Again, within Flash Professional, the Help menu, we can also get access to the latest Flash player and also the Flash Exchange. So popping back over to our web browser, we can see that from the Flash Exchange link, we actually get taken to the Adobe Marketplace. So from here, we can choose specific products. So if we want Flash Professional, we can just click on that. And this will bring up all of the extensions that we can download and add to Flash Professional. So lots of different stuff here to look through. And these are ways of extending Flash through these downloadable extensions. You would install them through the Adobe Extension Manager. Again, back over to Flash Professional, and within the Help menu, we also have access here to the Adobe Online Forums. So the forums are useful in that you can have a dialogue around many of the features of Flash Professional. You can see right here, Ask a Question is right up front. And it's broken into a number of different forums. You can see here is a general forum about Flash Professional. You can view the recent discussions, or of course, ask your own question from here as well. Some of the other options are questions and forums around the Swift file format, around Flash Exchange, data integration, Flash Media Server, ActionScript, so forth and so on. So this is a really good resource, and you can see by the number of discussions here that there's actually quite a bit to sift through. We also have the complete update Adobe ID profile link here. This will also open up a web browser pointing to adobe.com and we'll be able to complete or update our Adobe ID from there. We can deactivate the product from here. So deactivation will remove the serial number from both our local machine, our local copy, and also from Adobe servers. So this would allow us to uninstall Flash Professional from this machine and then install it on another machine with that same serial number. If we don't deactivate first, then Adobe servers still think that we have Flash Professional. So it limits the amount of times we can actually install it, which is normally two.
we also have a link for updates. So this allows us to basically check for updates off of Adobe's servers. And it'll bring up the Adobe Updater, which is going to go through and ping the servers to see if there are any updates to Flash Professional CS6. And if there are, it will download and install them for us.